What's up, y'all? Welcome to Sunday Talks, episode number 36. Can y'all believe? As I always say, think about it. We are 36 episodes deep. And you know what? I want all of you guys, man. I want all of you guys. I appreciate, man, you guys, man, for all your love and support, man. All of you guys that are able to make it over and check out the channel every weekend. You know what I mean? I appreciate you guys. I'm working on some content, guys. Be patient with me. I'm going to start uploading a whole lot more on this channel. A whole lot more on this channel. You know what I mean? For those of you guys also, follow me on TikTok also at Rob's Gym. I got a lot of content over there as well. All right? Hey, so check this out, y'all. This Sunday Talks, I'm going to take you guys back when I was in, I was in high school, right? I'm going to share a story with you. Now, I might have shared this a long time ago, but for those of you guys who are new to this channel, I'm going to share this a little something with you. All right, check this out. So, your boy was in ninth grade. Ninth grade, right? It was fresh, right? Had on my new clothes. I, I, I remember what I had on too. I had on this green shirt. It was a kickwear. That was his West Coast brand, right? I had on these like skateboarder, like black baggy pants, right? They were with some suede pumas with the fat boy laces, right? Couldn't have told your boy nothing. White fat boy laces, I was clean. Had my hair cut too, had the hot top fade. Whoo, boy, let me tell you something. Amazing, right? Your boy's ready. So my boy called me, my boy Rudy was like, hey Rob, hey man, hey, Heather, Heather was his girlfriend's name. He was like, hey man, Heather got a friend, man. You know, maybe you think, you know, your dad might bring you over so you can meet her. I'm like, you know what? Maybe he might. Went to my dad. I said, hey, dad, hey, man, you think, um, <coughs> excuse me, you think you can take me over to Rudy's house? He was like, yeah, 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 you know. But he was like, look, I'll take you over there. You got to be back at the house at 430. All right, dad, cool, 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 cool. Got you, got you, got you. So, ah, uh, so check this out, right? My dad takes me over there. I go to my boy house, we in, his room, we in his room, playing video games. All of a sudden he get a call, this is girl. He's like, hey Rob, let's go ahead, let's, let's make our way over to the uh, to the clubhouse area, man. Heather meeting us over there, then her girl gonna be there too. I'm like, all right, cool, bet. Right, I'm excited, right? Ninth grade, 14 years old, I'm pissing just vinegar down this, around this time. I'm telling you what, you couldn't tell me nothing, nothing, right, nothing. We go over there, man, go over there, Heather show, Heather's there, but the girl that her friend, she hadn't showed up yet. So we sitting there for about maybe a good, about a good 15 minutes. So I look at my boy, I said, Rudy, said, where's she at, man? He said, man, be patient, man. She be here, man. She be here. The girl comes in. Let me tell you something. 14-year-old mentality. Your boy's mind was blown. I mean, the girl was pot, cow, pow, poo. I mean, she was, she was all that in the bag of chips. I'm trying to tell you what. I was blown. You hear me? Blown, right? Look. Your boy got his first hickey, huh? Got his first hickey, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, look, I was in a cloud nine, you hear me? Cloud nine. Nothing, you could have told me nothing, right? Giving the kisses, hickey. I'm like, oh my God, hormones through the roof. You hear me? Through the roof. Huh. What happened? You know what happened? I'm going to tell you what happened. Your boy lost track of time. Maybe in the beginning of this video, I told you, I told y'all that my daddy told me to be back at 4.30. Well, around this time, it's about 6.15. Because my mind was gone, right? We out there, look, y'all, look. It, look, it was sun out when my dad dropped me off. It was nighttime during this time, right? My boy Rudy was like, Rob, man, it's after six. I was like, oh, it's after six. Oh, oh. See, y'all know I had to get my last kiss right. I was like, yeah, baby. Come on. <laughs> I, had get, I had to get my last kiss. I had to. I had to. Took off like a man out of hell. I'm gone. Get to the house. Get to the house. Moment of truth. My boy's brother answers the door. He's like, hey, man. Rob. Your daddy's been here like three times. I was like, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Look, back in the day, they had some kind of phone book. For us, a lot of, a lot of the, my younger audience on here, y'all may not know what a phone book is. For all my older folks on here, phone book was a big book 
that had all the local numbers and businesses and everything in the phone book. You had the yellow pages and the white pages. You look it up by the last name, you look up, just look up the company. You know what I mean? Boom, that is. You know what I'm saying? Boom. My dad was working at the Las Vegas Hill, now known as the Westgate Hotel in Las Vegas, right? I'm looking it up. I get all the way down to the L, I mean, I look for the Las Vegas Hill, for the hotels. I get all the way down to Las Vegas Hill, I hear it. I'm like, oh my God, I am dead, dead, and dead. My dad came to that door. Well, my boy's mama answered the door. My dad went, Brenda, Junior won't be coming over here for a while. Took me, I weighed about 140 pounds at the time. Took me, and I'm like this. I'm out of the picture, you hear me? Had me against the wall. He said, where did I tell you to be? What time did I tell you to be back here? I was like, um, uh, uh, I was over at the car. So you do what the hell you want to do, huh? Ah, no. What the hell you trying to do? You trying to call me a lie? No. What the hell you trying to say then? I don't know. Get in the car. I was like, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look, dad, put me in the, look, say, look, got in the car, right? My brother is sitting near the window. He's on, he's on the passenger side, right? I'm sitting behind my dad's, right? I'm sitting behind his seat, right? He looking in the rearview mirror. He is pissed, pissed off. He is pissed, right? Take my dad a whole lot to get mad, boy. But on this night, though, boy, I tell you what, your boy, <laughs> your boy wouldn't have been here. I wouldn't have been here today if my dad would have went in on me. Hear me? Now he wouldn't have went that far, but he was pissed. You hear me? Pissed, right? My sister, my baby sister. I love my sister, right? But during this time, I want the body slammer. Just loud. I'm gonna tell y'all why I want the body slammer. Let me see what she did. Baby girl had just learned how to talk, right? So she sensed the friction. She felt it in the heat of the night. She felt it, you know, like, like Phil Collins. She felt it. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you. She, she smelt it. She felt it. Smelt it, felt it, everything. She knew something was going down in the town. She smelt the smoke in the city. She really did. So let me tell you what she did, right? I'm sitting up here quiet. I'm praying to God. He just forget, knowing the hell he ain't gonna forget what's going on because it was fresh. My sister says, just like this, little cute self, had a little barrette in her hair, little cute self. She said, you, she said, no, because back, see, to this day, my family calls me Lil' Rob. My mom calls me Lil' Rob, my dad calls me Junior. My brother calls me Lil' Rob, right? This is what my sister says. Like she was waiting on Q or something. Lil' Rob don't get his butt work. You don't get your butt work. She just changed it between you and threw my name in there. You don't get your butt work. Lil' Rob don't get his butt work. You don't get your butt work. You don't get your butt work. You don't get your butt work. I'm like, God damn it. Got home. But that was hot. Went to his room. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm safe. I'm in, I'm in the other room. I'm about to get out my clothes. I get down to about right here on my pants. I heard, Junior, bring your ass. I was like, uh-oh. Pants back up. Went to the family room. My dad had this cow leather belt. Tore my ass up. You understand me? He said this. Put your hands over the fireplace. He used to make it bend over the fireplace. I was like this. He was like, where the hell I tell you to be? I said, wow. I was like, ah, shit. <laughs> He said, look, he was like, what time I tell you to be back at Rudy's house? I said, 4.30, where the hell was you at? I told him, wham, so you do what you want to do, huh? No, wham, so what, am I lying? No, wham, what the hell are you trying to call me then? I don't know, wham, do you know anything? I don't know, wham. Told me up, right? Then told me to go wash the dishes, right? Told me to go wash the dishes. So here I am. I'm in, look, I'm in, the, I'm in my mama's kitchen like this. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> This man had a premonition. Had a premonition. You know what he did? Went to the back, 
he was, I, and I think, I really start, I really, I really feel that he started thinking to himself, this, this Negro is out his damn mind. He's out his damn mind. He had me late. Yeah, I could have lost a damn job. He came around that damn corner with that belt. It was like a cartoon. Black man, I'm gonna tell you, he's about to tell you something. I'm gonna tell him. Carl Lewis ain't got nothing on my daddy, right? He came around the corner like this. He was like, and all I heard, I didn't even hear the man's footsteps. He was like a thief in the night, a ninja, shinobi. He, all I heard was, and I'm like, what the hell? I was like, oh. Body went just like this. Look, if you would have seen me through my mama's window, y'all would have been like, what in the hell is going on over there? You hear me? Suds flew everywhere. I got ivory soap on my mama's damn window. I got stuff everywhere. You understand me? I'm for real. It was dish rag action and soap suds everywhere up in that kitchen. You know what he told me? And you better not get on the phone. I said, okay. You know what I did when he got when he left? Got on the phone like a damn dummy. Called my boy and said, hey man, Rudy, man. I said, Rudy, did your mama whoop you? He said, hell yeah, man, my mama whooped me, man. She locked me in the bathroom. I couldn't move, I couldn't run, I couldn't do nothing. I'm like, yeah, my dad got me too. I got the hell off that phone. Mm. See, dumb stuff we do as kids, you know what I'm saying? Dumb stuff. I got whooped over dumb stuff. You weren't using my head, do you understand me? Dumb. Did y'all understand? Did, did, did y'all like that story? Are y'all laughing out there? Did you finish your bucket of popcorn at least while you li while listening to my story? Did you like it? Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Please, did you just like it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, look. That was my story. That was, that was, look. This, this concludes, right? Sunday Talks, episode number 36, man. I want to share that story with y'all, man. Stay tuned next week for Sunday Talks, episode number 37, man. Be sure y'all do me a favor, man. Like this video, all right? Leave your comments down below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell, man. And y'all keep stopping by, man, to show your boy love, man. I love each and every one of y'all, man. And thank you guys so much for humoring your boy, man. I appreciate you. Without you guys, it wouldn't be a channel, man. All right? With that being said, guys, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'll catch y'all next week. Peace.